all right so let's continue now in this part we're going to format the way that we are sending the mail in and also we have to include the confirmation link so let's get right into it so over here we have this thing click on the link to confirm the order so below this we should be adding the link now the thing is that we do know which api to call but as we have to structure the entire url we need to know the host so we can get a hold of that by tapping inside the request object that we get as the first argument of the api so at the moment i'm just going to return back the entire thing in the form of json request well in our case we just care about the headers so we can do it in such a way so now if we visit the new order api if we make a get request to it we should be able to see the headers that there are in the request object and as you can see there we got the host now as it doesn't have any sort of uh, protocol as in like http or https so we will face uh, like a we will face some problem as in constructing the anchor element so it's something that i have faced earlier in in a in a project that i've worked before so uh, anyway we'll get to that so over here as we are structuring the html we can obviously make use of uh, the html tags which means that in order to have the line break instead of using that backslash n we can just make use of the break tag in such a way so we can do it right over here instead of this we can use the hr which is the horizontal rule in such a way and also the total amount we can wrap it up in h3 tag in such a way so now for the link uh, we obviously need to use the anchor element and over here what we need to do uh, we can have something like click here or uh, maybe like confirm order and the h ref the h ref is supposed to be uh, using the quotes first of all it has to be in quotes and within this we can use the template literal in such a way so we already have the like we get back the object which is actually the the document which is added to the database within which we have the key so we obviously need to make use of that but before we get to it we need to structure the the previous part of the url which includes the host and stuff so what we can do we can make use of request dot headers dot Mm, it was host yep and now uh what we can do uh, we need to add in the slash api and confirm order with a, a query parameter of order id and this has to be like within the response we get the key the response is the document which is added so in such a way however it will not work in the expected way and instead of this let me just copy the same thing just for the time being right over here so that we can actually see whether the url is at least getting constructed so now if we take it for a spin let's place a new order <coughs> let's add a couple of items and let's take it for a spin so order has been placed and if we take a look we should be receiving the mail about the same so that's cool and there we have it as you can see click on the link to confirm the order so as you can see the anchor element is not working the reason is obvious because it has to like it needs to be http or https without that it just doesn't work in a mail so what we can do for the time being um, by the way the rest of the url is working fine so let's just copy and paste it over here just to test it out order successful that is beautiful 
so that's working i just received a push notification anyway so now in order to make it work although this would work in 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 production environment when we will be actually deployed like when we will have this entire thing deployed then obviously it's going to be a proper url but for the time being what we can do <clears throat> we can have something like um, so what we can do over here let's have something like confirmation link which would be this entire not this but this entire thing let me just cut it out from here and paste it over here using the back ticks to structure it out so over here we can have so <laughs> what we can do uh, we don't need this by the way so what we can do we can check that if it is local host that's sort of like an explicit check that we'll have to do so over here this is this part right hmm maybe something <clears throat> maybe something like this uh over here we can do something like is dev which would be the confirmation link and we can split it out by the colon we only care about the first one and if this thing is equals to what is it localhost then it means that we are in the development environment oh <laughs> now that i think of it <laughs> like we don't really have to do this because we can just make use of the environment variable which is i guess process dot um, wait a second i'm thinking about something else <sighs> so what if we return this thing i just want to kind of quickly test it out right now so we should be having something like the node environment right so if that's the thing we could have just used this thing to uh, check it out so yeah i mean we don't have to uh, we don't have to do the is dev thing we have the confirmation link we don't really have to do this and over here we can just check that if uh we can do i think we may have to come back to this thing after we deploy the application just to see whether it works or not but for the time being what we can do if process.env node environment if this thing is equals to development then in that case we can just append http in such a way otherwise https now this is where i'm not quite sure whether we have to do it because if the host itself contains the protocol then we will have to skip this part so um like honestly i'm not quite sure whether it does add the protocol so i'm just gonna take a chance and over here now what we need to do the next thing is append the url which is the confirmation link in such a way right with no space obviously so we are checking the environment if it's development then it's http the protocol if not it's https and then we are just appending the confirmation link so now let's actually give it a shot once again and let's see it has been sent we should receive the mail there it is boom that's working if i click on it order successfully confirmed so that's beautiful 
this is at least working again receive the push notification so by the way feel free to customize the message as in you do have all these fields like other fields full name contact number feel free to add them and if you want to take a step further you can make use of a html template if you want to kind of make it look nice but i'm just going to skip that part because the thing that we aim for is done so now the last thing that we have to do is once they confirm the order sending them another mail about the same thing so over here <clears throat> uh what we can do somewhere around here i'm actually gonna copy the send mail function from here and get it over okay so we do have the order that's great so now what we can do maybe at the end again we need to import the send mail and we can send another mail saying that order confirmed uh where is the book store there it is and over here again for the html free feel free to customize it in any way that you feel like i'm just gonna make it a very plain straight to the point sort of thing are you kidding me nope order confirmed and we can have like thank you for placing and maybe the user's name for a change so we have the full name right in the order actually we are destructuring the entire thing so we have full name so we can place it somewhere around here maybe right over here order confirm maybe shifted at the top that looks cool what's up with the error check that we have send mail i guess we are not importing it are we importing it actually we are so what's up with this by the way google yeah we don't need to import it now now that we have that utility function so now uh what's up with this boy axios oh my bad it has to be outside okay so that's cool and let's give it a shot let's see so now if we place a new order that's the name that we are filling in that i'm filling in and let's place a new order and order has been placed but a boom but a bam if i confirm the order so order successfully confirmed if i try to revisit link expired or order already confirmed we should be getting another mail but i guess we didn't oh there it is beautiful order confirmed thank you the painter for placing an order with us sweet so now that it's done the entire thing i suppose uh what are we left with feels like we are at the end but at the same time it feels like we are missing something so this 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 mail i think we are done really is this the end of this series damn feels good uh oh nope not yet <clears throat> we are still missing one thing we need to make this thing responsive damn so yeah we need to make this thing responsive and let's do that in the next video